Hi and welcome. Last week we talked about what Feng Shui is and what clutter does to our environment. So this week we're kind of going to the opposite direction and going to what actually enhances the environment. So the opposite of clutter. Three things that I talked on my blog was about light, color and plants. And something like what I have here. You can see uh, this orchid and this is something that I really appreciate in color because it really just illuminates the room every time you see a plant like this. So one tip that I will start with is plants. So if we think about plants are living things which are in motion, even if we don't see it, because they need to absorb the water, they need to grow, so they're constantly generating energy. So a dead plant generates zero energy. So if you are going to choose between two plants, one dry and one with with alive, basically green, you will probably choose the green plant as the dead plant. Why? Because one generates more energy. So if we think about it, a plant like an orchid, the one that I just showed, um, has a lot of color and bright color. So that means the energy of that area where this plant is, it enhances it. So if, so if you think about it, uh, if you go to a hotel or you go just for dinner, usually the restaurants and the hotels have small flowers, vases uh, with different colors and even plants, which you feel good about it. So plants are living things that generate energy in the areas that may be too dark in our homes. Also, I, in my personal opinion, I've seen that plants choose where they want to be. So in a corner that, that apart from the light and the water that you have to put, uh, it may feel more welcome in different areas. And also in Feng Shui, there's different areas you should place plants to enhance the areas. So yesterday, a friend of mine asked me, should I put this small plant or should I put a big plant in certain corner? So my question to her was, how big do you want something to be? Or how small? For example, let's say that you want to be in the top of your career. Would you put a small plant or a big plant? Or let's say you want to be famous. Do you want a lot of fame or a little fame? That's the balance you have to find within Feng Shui and the use of plants and light and color. You want to balance one area and you don't want to overwhelm one area with different things that may not really impact that area as much as when you have a balanced area. So for example, in the entrance of a house where you're welcoming people, welcoming new energy, you can place a nice plant. So when you open a door, you will see that plant first. So plants are good. And for various of persons, including me, some plants are difficult to take care of. One of the hardest, I think, it's actually this orchid um, that is very delicate. But there are certain other plants that you can put in your home that may increase that energy and also to allow you to, to not need to take care of, of that plant as much. For example, a peace lily. A peace lily is one of those plants where if you water it enough, it will be straight. And if it requires water, it, all that leaves were, will point down. So you'll know that it needs water. In addition, I read a study done by NASA that plants absorb gases. A small amount, but if you have a lot of plants around your room that are absorbing constantly, those gases are cleaning the air too. So there's positive in both ways, in energy and chemical cleaning. So the next tip I'm gonna give about Feng Shui is have plants. Plants are living things that are constantly moving the energy, especially in the corners. So if you're walking in home and you have different plants and you see a plant that it's dead in one area, think about it what in that area is happening because it might be bad energy that is just accumulating and of course the plant is taking all of that energy away. So plants are good to have. That's the that's my tip number two.
for this week. Have a great day. Have fun. Bye.